Welcome to the workshop. My name is Olivia. And today we have plenty to do, so please do forgive my urgency in just jumping right into the subject. First off, we begin with what maps are. My information will come from a website by Ms. Cynthia Lanius. As a definition, maps are a set of points, lines, and areas all defined by position with reference to a coordinate system and by their non-spatial attributes. Maps are the world reduced to these criteria, using a variety of visual resources, size, shape, value, texture, pattern, color and orientation. Moreover, maps are representations of reality, an abstraction of reality if you will. A cartographer only selects the information that is essential to fulfill the purpose of the map, and that is suitable for its scale. Symbols on maps convey information. Finally. Maps locate places on the surface of the Earth, show patterns of distribution, and discover relationships between phenomena by analyzing information. Well, I must admit, that is indeed quite a bit to take in. Points. Lines. Area. Coordinate system. Representations and abstracts of reality. Selected information. Scale. Patterns. Sounds complicated if you think about it. Worse yet, seeing that this is a workshop for teachers, and not for cartographers, well, there is, of course, an element of extended metaphor permeating the very fiber of this presentation. In short, I am not talking about maps at all. This is a lesson in teaching methodology. Ultimately, this begets the question. What commonalities do cartographers and teachers share? The workshop today will be divided into categories related to the world of maps, because, the reality is that one needs to understand the significance of what a map is trying to do to truly understand its usefulness. This is perhaps the most basic truth in the field of education. This workshop will focus on center points, point of view and scale, world maps, uncharted territory, and of course, a family vacation slideshow. In the category entitled The Center of the World, teachers will be challenged to find the center of the student's world. In other words, teachers need to consider their audience. Actually, let me correct my statement by saying, teachers need to consider their audiences. Who are the audiences? What are their centers? How does a teacher consider multiple targets while creating one lesson plan, one unit? This is where the understanding of maps can assist us. The next section, which I call point of view cartography, mirrors the ideas of functions, focus, comparative growth and differentiation. As a map is designed to reveal specific information to its readers and depends a great deal upon the concept of map literacy, so is a curriculum designed on objectives, goals and needs of the users, its users on all levels of an educational system, moving on to world maps. The next section in this workshop, you will find a comparison of the need for relational and spatial understanding in the cartographer's world with that of the teacher's same needs. Moreover the concept of lines, boundaries, and physical geography will be equated to the teacher world through the need for categorization. Finally, in uncharted territories, the discussion will move on to what teachers need to do in those empty spots on the map. What road trip would be complete without a little sharing of the memories? I hope you will enjoy the finale that will include a type of educational slideshow. So, without further hesitation, let's plan our trip of a lifetime. The journey that begins with a pen and blank paper, and evolves into lines, and points, and areas, and a world of chartable white space that will be filled with the contents of your genius mind. I, for one, cannot wait to get started.